In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, brothers, and sisters, let us acknowledge your sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. And blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this. The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that ye cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. 
Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, magandang umaga po sa inyo, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Ganon din po sa sumusubaybay sa atin via live stream, not only in the Philippines but all over the world. We cannot ignore the five basic senses, alam naman natin yan, no? touch, taste, hearing, smelling, and perhaps more importantly, seeing. At meron nga mga discoveries uh, very recently that there are more than five senses daw. Ang alam lamang nating basic senses ay lima, yung aking nabanggit. Meron silang isa doon sa kan mga nadiscover nila ay yung tinatawag na proprioception. Ano ba yung proprioception na yan? Pwede kayo mag-experiment sa inyong upuan. Saran ninyo ang inyong mata. At kapag ka sinabi kong itouch ninyo yung dunggot ng ilong ninyo, kahit hindi nyo nakikita, alam ninyo kung saan. Diba? Pero hindi po lahat ay nakakagawa noon kapag ka meron kayong uh, problema sa inyong new nervous system. Kuminsan, kailangan makita nyo yung ilong. In other words, yung sense of space ay tinatawag ding sense. Importante po iyon. Kahit nga po ang mga Japanese, meron silang tinatawag ngayon, maaring narinig nyo na yan, yung umami. Alam nyo ba yung umami? Kasi ang ating dila ay meron ding tinatawag na mga areas where we can taste sweetness, tamis, asim, alat, at pait. Meron nga yung anghang. Pero yung umami, hindi nila alam, hindi nila pwede i-classify dito sa mga basic tastes. Kaya ang tawag nila ay umami. If our basic senses, kapag itong mga uh, paramdam na ito ay uh, okay lang at nagtatrabaho ng mahusay, everything is on the go for us. Walang problema. Pero kapag ka merong abirya, kahit isa lang sa mga ito, medyo uh, impaired tayo, may mga consequences kagaya ng nangyari doon sa bulag na tao 
na nakita ng ating Panginoon. In seeking Jesus, His sight may have been absent. Wala, wala siyang nakikita. Pero narinig niya that our Lord is passing by. In other words, wala siyang sight, but He had the vision and regained it by believing in Jesus. Iba ho kasi yung sight, sight physical. Pero yung vision, maaring pwede nating i-connect yan sa, uh, sa ating faith. Di ba? Kapag kasi sinabi natin kasing vision, parang in the future, nakikita na natin. At yan ay palagay ko'y connected rin sa ating faith, kagaya noong bulag na tao. Alam niya, even before the miracle of him having his sight back, naniniwala siya na papagalingin siya ng Panginoon. That is faith. That is vision. He was focused on the desire to have back his vision. Kaya nga, sa kanyang paniniwala, nakita niya, dadaan na ang Panginoon. At ano yung tinanong sa kanya ng Panginoon? What do you want me to do for you? Tayo, mga pumupunta dito sa Manawag, maaring gusto rin nating marinig yun sa Panginoon at sa mahal na birhen, di ba? What do you want me to do for you? Ayun, sasabihin na natin doon, ano ba talaga ang gusto mo? Di ba? Maaring buo ang ating mga paningin, pero kadalasan, uh, kulang tayo doon sa tinatawag nating vision or faith, kagaya noong bulag na tao sa ating ebanghelyo. Kadalasan, yan, naririnig natin, na, nakikita natin ang mga biyaya na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon, di ba? Pero nakikita na ba natin lahat ng Kanya ibinibigay sa atin? Kadalasan, nakikita lamang natin ay yung gusto nating makita. But there are many more that the Lord has been, has been giving to us day in and day out. Kaya nga siguro magandang exercise itong patapos ng ating liturgical calendar, marapit na mag-advent. Kaya nga ang ating mga readings ay tungkol sa uh, reckoning or pagtutuos or pag-examine ng ating buhay kung paano ba ang nangyari sa nakaraang taon. Uh, pwede nating bilangin siguro as a form of exercise ano yung mga pwede nating pasalamatan sa Diyos. Di ba? Hindi lamang yung What do you want me to do for you? The Lord is always ready to give us what we are asking from Him. Kadalasan naman kasi ang hinihingi din natin, kahit na tayo ay nagpupunta dito sa Manawag, they are good things, things that are good for us and for those uh, significant others in our lives. ba? Diba? Hindi naman tayo humihingi ng luho. Ang hinihingi natin ay yung makakabuti, makakaginhawa sa ating buhay. Kaya, Parang foregone conclusion na yun. It's just a matter of time and waiting and persistence in our prayer. Magandang marinig yun. Every time we come to a place like Manawag, di ba? Anong sinabi ng Birhen doon sa, sa Cana nung ginawa niya ang kanyang first miracle? Do whatever my son tells you. Yes, we can tell him what we want. Alam na rin naman ng Panginoon yan bago pa natin ibigkas, di ba? God knows our needs even before we ask, but He wants us to ask for whatever it is that we need in our lives. Kaya lang kailangan natin yung faith. Yung faith o pananalig kagaya noong pananalig noong bulag na tao. Nung nakakita siya, ano kanyang ginawa, sumunod siya sa Panginoon and gave praise to God. So perhaps in this Mass, let us pray for grateful hearts for all the blessings na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon sa mga nakaraang araw o taon, di ba? Sapagkat hindi lahat yan nakikita natin kasi what we see usually, isang dimension lang, yung nasa harap lang natin, di ba? But the Lord continues to give us and shower us with uh, limitless blessings. Kumisan hindi na natin siya napapasalamatan. And I think uh, that will also help us develop grateful hearts Bago tayong matulog, papasalamatan natin kung ano nangyari sa atin sa isang araw. At saka yung mga hindi natin nakita, it was not so obvious to us, but you know, it put us in good stead. It made our lives um, easier perhaps and more convenient. Marami kasi nakakataka sa ating paningin. Kaya nga, 
Kung minsan, bago ako matulog, sinasabi ko, thank you for everything. Sapagkat hindi ko mabilang, I cannot do an inventory of all the good things that has come my way. Not only today, not only yesterday, but for as long as I am alive, for as long as we are alive, di ba? God continues to give. Hindi siya ma matatalo when it comes to generosity. So, huwag natin kakalimutan. Perhaps today, the Lord is asking us again, what do you want me to do for you? And then afterwards, like the blind man, let us have grateful hearts and thank Him. Whether the answer to our prayers will be immediate, instant, or perhaps we need some time, in God's own time, ika nga. It pays to have grateful hearts. Doon tayo nagkakaroon ng vision. Doon tayo nagkakaroon ng mas matindi o mas malalim na pananalig sa kagustuhan ng Diyos, sa kalooban ng Diyos sa ating buhay. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> we ask God, our Father, to open our eyes so that we may clearly see His path and follow Him wholeheartedly. For each intention, we shall say, Lord, let Your light shine on us. Ilakas po natin. Lord, Lord let, let Your, your light, light shine, shine on, on us. us. That the leaders of the Church, through the witness of humble lives, may show us the direction to God, the Father's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That through our acts of kindness, we may always seek out those who are despised, rejected, or unloved in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That like the blind man of Jericho, we may have firm confidence in the healing presence of Jesus and follow Him in the pathway of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let Your light shine on us. That the sick and those who suffer from failing eyesight or blindness may find healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let Your light shine on us that the dead may receive eternal rest and perpetual light in the glory of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. Let us now pause for a few moments of meaningful silence at alalahanin natin, namnamin natin yung tanong ng Panginoon doon sa bulag na tao. What do you want me to do for you? Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, 
to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, sisters, and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Kaunting paalala po bago tayo tumanggap ng pakinabang of Holy Eucharist. Uh, pagharap po ninyo sa Eucharistic minister or sa mga pa, o sa pari, uh, bago kayo tumanggap at il ganito ang gawin ng kamay ninyo, baba nyo muna ang inyong face mask. At pag sinabi ng pari, the body of Christ, sagot kayo ng malakas na amen, tapos isubo nyo na agad yung Holy Communion. Huwag nyo na pong dalhin sa inyong upuan at baka ho maaksidenteng mahulog o mapahid ng hangin. 
Selamat kok. Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much sa inyong pakikisa sa pag-aalay ng misang ito, sa araw na ito, sa oras na ito. Alalahan ninyo, alalahan ninyo rin kami sa inyong mga panalangin araw-araw para sa aming responsibility at sa aming gawain dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Hindi po kasi madali ang mag-shepherd ng mga pilgrims, uh, not only from our country but from all over the Philippines. And makakaasa din po kayo na kayo rin ang inyong mga intentions, ang inyong mga petitions ay lagi naming inaalay sa aming mga panalangin at sa aming mga liturgical uh, actions. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace. Glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards we will have the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance with your will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory 
of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 